for the very last part of the project, I've hooked up a relay onto pin 13 on the Raspberry Pi, and this relay will control an LED strip of lights. So I can control it directly from the HomeKit app, just by turning it on or off. And I can also have it hooked up to the motion sensors so that it can be triggered uh, whenever there's movement. So let's go back to my PIR sensor flow. And I've removed the buzzer because that was just there for testing. And instead I'm going to drop in a GPIO node for the relay. So this is an output device and it's on pin 13. So I'll call that one relay. And now I'm going to set that up so that my PIR sensor feeds directly into that relay. So whenever the sensor is triggered, the lights will go on. I'm also going to set up a HomeKit node for the LED lights. So configure a new type of accessory for the LED strip. I can give that a custom code. And instead of a sensor, this time it's going to be a light bulb sort of accessory. I can give it a name and then set up the instance, which is a light bulb. And I'll give it a name, just LED strip. So now I want to hook that up to my relay, but I need to check exactly what the message payload is that's coming out of that LED strip object. So I'll just use debug again to uh, log the message content that's coming from that node. And then I'll go set up HomeKit and see what the message payload is. Okay, so I've configured my home app with the LED light so that I can trigger it. And when I trigger it on, this is what happens in the payload. It's an on field that's set to one. So I'm going to need to set that up with a custom function. So I'll hook that up to my HomeKit node, and then I'll hook that into my relay. And in that function, I'm just going to uh, create a message payload that takes the on property from my HomeKit node and turns it into a number that will trigger the LED lights to go on by the relay. So now when I send that message through from the home app, my LED strip will turn on. The other thing that I need to do is have the state of the LED lights reflect the fact that they've been turned on or off. Uh, by the PIR sensor. So what I'll do is whenever the PIR sensor triggers, I will set the state of the LED strip to match. So getting the value from the payload of the PIR sensor and mapping that to the on property that gets sent through to the HomeKit node. Now when I've deployed that change, whenever I update the LEDs by triggering it through the home app or by triggering it through the PIR sensor, the state displayed through the home app is going to match the state of the LED strip.